according to my XCOM sort of perfect strategy uh, guide videos. Uh, this is Grim Gary, and this has one become one of my favorite games. And um, we're just about to start a classic game here. I'm going to treat it, it's not um, Iron Man, but I'm going to treat it as it is. I've had problems with Iron Man in the past. Um, not just with getting slaughtered, which happens all the time, but with corrupted save files. Um, so when I go through a mission, I'm not going to uh, load a game if something goes bad. Alright, when you start off XCOM, you get to select what continent you want to generally uh, go with. Uh, there are only three choices that I find that are pretty good for, you know, beginning which is North America because your aircraft uh, and aircraft weapons cost 50% less to purchase, which kind of comes in handy at the beginning. Uh, Asia is down on the list of beginning ones, but uh, if you can get the Foundry and Officer Training School uh, fairly early, the, the cost is 50% less. The Officer Training School and the Foundry, of course, being very important. But if you can't get this, if you don't start with Asia right away, get the satellite coverage over it. Uh, Africa, monthly XCOM funding increased by 30%, so you can get a little extra money. South America does autopsies and interrogations uh, instantly. However, autopsies and interrogations only take a few days anyway. So I just... Usually, I just kind of let South America go to the side. <laughs> Sorry if anybody lives down in South America, but... Uh, yeah, they just didn't create a good, uh, viable, economic XCOM environment. And there's Europe, but I, the only time I use workshops is to get a few more engineers into my base, but that, that's really it. <laughs> Um, so, and laboratories, scientists are scientists, you know. You're going to get things as you get them. Um, but don't buy that the Europe one is very viable for, for beginning. But uh, North America is, is pretty good because of the aircraft, so I'm going to go with that in this game. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We're going to Mexico. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. That we should like get down there and eliminate uh, any hostiles. Store, which is a pretty good map to start with, actually. Now, there are a lot of maps in this game. Each one kind of has their own strategy. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Now, what you want to do when you're playing Classic and, and Iron Man do not want to advance too fast. The key Good is... Enemy uh, rolling I already got my aliens up. We're witnessing something never before I seen in recorded Island. history. <laughs> and not because she's like snotty person or something like that, but she talks too much. So, you know what? I'm gonna take my 25% pot shot at this guy. And I'm, maybe I won't. And I won't. Oh, missed the target. Alright, so the key here is not to get too many aliens activated at once. So I want to try to get aliens <coughs> to come into my guns rather than me go into their guns. And if you do have a choice to tab through different aliens, do so. Because you may end up with a 45% chance to hit instead of a 25% chance. And he's hit. Still confirmed. There's one alien down. Their weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. This is why I hate her. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for anymore. our own development programs. <laughs> and this guy is gonna be a hard one to place. I'm just gonna put him over here. Out of the way. You just don't want to run your guys into too many aliens. Sometimes it's unavoidable. Alright, that's going to be important to note. Both of these guys are on Overwatch, so I don't want to move too much. Alright, so what do we got? 25% and 25%. What I can do to this guy, and you may want to do this at the cla at the beginning of a classic game, is grenade the hell out of these guys. They deserve it. So they're going to mess your sandwiches up if uh, you let them go on for too long. Well, see, the longer you prolong a firefight, the more chances your guys have of dying. You really Going don't want to lose too many soldiers in Classic, because 
Commander, Even though they're you may <laughs> want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Just something to consider. So, now, typically on this convenience store map, when you're spawned over here, um, the other aliens group is going to be in this store. Uh, for the beginning mission, you only have two groups to deal with. Uh, so I have to be careful uh, about my, the placement of my soldiers here, not to activate the second group. So let's get him over here, and we will put him on Overwatch. And we're going to peek this guy around the side of this delivery van. Hopefully we can catch a glimpse of the alien. Now, if I'm correct, he's going to shoot at the guy that I have. They're backing up! Him. Advance! Hopefully, yep, there we go. That's what I want to happen. But he missed. The target's still up. The more you can put people on Overwatch, the better. Um, with the aliens out of sight to begin with at the beginning of the turn. So, he's got a 28% chance, which isn't so great. So maybe he can get a... No. Let's see what your chance is. 41% chance is pretty decent for a, a rookie. Uh, wounded him. Um, let's skip you for now. What's your chance? 39% chance. Uh, and he, was he on Overwatch? I don't remember. So, on the side. Just gonna shoot at him. Target's still up. Um, and I'm gonna risk. This is a big risk that I'm taking to move, move this soldier over here. Okay, he wasn't on Overwatch, so that's good. Hit him, baby. There Taking we go. Care of. All right. After you've dealt with a group of aliens, you'll probably have some free time. Reload. Back online. You never know when you'll get a chance to reload, and you Let's don't do want this. to run out of Rat ammo bang. in the middle of a larger good fire to fight. Go. Let's get the chance to do that reloads. Yep, the other Shh, aliens is there. that? Now, one key strategy I've learned is to get guys behind full cover, which is the full shield here, rather than partial cover, which is the half a shield here. Um, just want to kind of keep them as best protected as you can. Sometimes it's not possible. And I'm just gonna really send one dude forward. And the rest of these guys are going to stay on Overwatch. So this dude is gonna go way up here quick. Since I know generally where the aliens are, I'm gonna kind of cheese it. I put him at great risk, but it's only one dude rather than a whole lot of them. So putting them on Overwatch is going to let them shoot if the aliens move within their range. Alright, so let's get my point man going here. Hopefully I can catch a glimpse of the aliens without too much problem. Alright, these guys are going on Overwatch again. Now, I noticed that Aliens, when they're off camera, kind of move in random fashion. Sometimes they even teleport. They will teleport from you location to location. I've had mostly robotic enemies uh, kind of teleport right on top of me without me seeing them coming, which I always found ridiculous. But if you use this strategy with a point man, you can generally survive such tactics. Now, this white line denotes how far he can move and still shoot, while the other uh, line around it, it determines how far he can move without being able to shoot and ends his turn. So I'm going to move up to this window, and still going to allow me to move back to my old location. Okay, I didn't see them, so... Just hunker down. Well, he's not hunkering down, he's going to be on Overwatch. Hunkering down is something different. <laughs> Put my 
main goal is to survive here. And what I may do, this is risky too. There's really no full cover. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna take this dude and actually move him up here. So he'll be on Overwatch. Overwatch. And we're gonna try to get a pixie of this aliens. Oh, they're still not in there. They're probably right in this area I can't see. So we're gonna move him back to this spot. Hopefully the aliens will move a little bit. Oh, they've been moving around. I don't think day. we're alone out here. So let's check this out. If they're out there or in that back room, that will be awesome. Ah, hoo -ha! And let's see, can... Let's see if moving another square or two will reveal them, which it won't. Tuck him in the corner then. He's got full cover from what side. And you want to keep your guys paired up too. I can't state how important that is. Well, now I'm gonna try to come at these two guys, these guys at two sides, and hopefully uh, I'll be able to discover where they are without, like, putting my guys right in the middle of the aliens. I'm gonna try to be as quiet as possible. I'll put him on Overwatch. Put him or her on Overwatch. <coughs> These aliens just burst through the door, which they generally do not on their own. This guy is going to wait for the other guy. It's a slow strategy, but at the end of the day, I want my guys alive. Where are you, babies? Let's see, they're out in this alley. What's making that noise? Alright, so we're gonna wait for you guys. I don't see anything in the store, so... Going in. They heard that, so they're gonna. You hear that? Yeah, I hear that. I hear your mom. Um, I'm gonna. I got this guy covering, so we can generally uh, move up there pretty quickly. These guys are gonna continue Overwatch until I get the other guys into position. They got a little bit of ground to cover. Yeah, the aliens did move. I think I heard movement sounds, so... Alright. And this one last guy... is gonna move over here. And I'll put everybody else on Overwatch, and then we'll start going in. It's a slow, methodical play, but, uh, yeah. You hear that? I have not yet played on impossible mode. Alright, so, this guy is gonna open this door. Let's see what Time we see. There we go! There they were, is out in that alley. Hopefully I'll catch them by surprise in various compromising positions. You hear that? I hear that. But let me play. Alright, we're gonna turn the camera here. Now, it would be a bad idea to send this guy out directly into the alley. So we're gonna send him over there. Now, you saw, saw a yellow shield pop up there. That means he's flanked. Let's see if I can pop a grenade out here. I can pop a grenade probably catch them. That would be awesome. Pop! Catch! Nope. Oh well. Alright, so we're gonna open this door. Hello, give me the door opening sign. Sometimes the the multi-level um, play of this is really weird. So we're 
We're gonna go in here, Overwatch. And the aliens will be in for a surprise if I can catch them by surprise. They're coming through this door and just shoot their faces. Alright, he's gonna buff another guy. And he's gonna become a prime target. Because if I kill him, it'll kill both him and the guy he buffed. It's kind of a feedback overload. Alright, grip my teeth! Wow, you destroyed, you destroyed like the whole market. Good job. Alien activity. Come on, there's only three of these guys. Can't be that big a deal. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Ow. she's wounded, but still up. That's good. All right. So let's click on the guy's name to center on him. Let's see what kind of options I got here. 25% chance, not so good. So what I'll do is I'll move it up. Let's see if I get a 59% chance, that's good. And still 25. So we're gonna try to shoot this guy's face off. Ah! Oh, adjusting aim! And rookies suck. Alright, we got a 60%, 68% chance to hit him, 25. Alright, so we're gonna try to shoot this guy's face off. And it didn't really work. Now hopefully, I will be able to kill the guy across the way there. There's 42% chance to hit him, and only 30% chance to hit him, but I really don't need to hit him. I just need to hit his area. He hit my area! Grenade out! Goodbye, grenade. And that will kill both. And for my fourth guy, I can now move him over here and flank this other dude and have a good percent chance of hitting him and killing him. He's down. Now that good wasn't work bad. Out there, strike one. If uh, I may, Commander, the labs are uh, on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. <clears throat> now that was fairly good, but I have one soldier who is wounded, who's probably going to be down for a couple days. So that's my first little strategy guide on here. Basically, you want to keep uh, people in full cover. Uh, if you can, if the map allows it, send a point man forward, draw aliens towards you rather than you going into their guns, because you do not want to be surprised by multiple aliens. Um, and lastly, uh, do not pr prolong any firefights. Use explosives early. It doesn't matter if, if you don't catch a, a few uh, weapon fragments. You're going to get plenty of weapon fragments later on. And that's what you get. Well, that's what you lose if you uh, shoot these aliens or blow these aliens up with grenades. Alright, take care now. Thank you.